Hey, it's Joe Glantz from Automator, and uh, this is an extract from our new course, Rising Above PC Incompetence. And when I used to work at Corporate America, I'd look around at my colleagues and watch them use a computer, uh, and it was just painful because, and I'm not knocking them, right? They they work hard, and the thing is, they work, you know, crazy hours, and then they use a PC very inadequately, like they're just not geeks, which I don't blame them, but... Um, that's what this extract, like you'll see in here, we teach you how to use a computer more efficiently, right? So real quickly, the, the course right now has is a little bit over four hours worth of content. There's 65 videos. The average length is about 3.7 minutes. So they're broken down into bite-sized things. We offer a double your money back guarantee. So whatever you pay for it, if you're not happy within the first 30 days, not only give you your money back, but we'll double what you paid for it. Um, you can get a quick outline here. I'll put the URL up on the page if you look at it. But we use, you know... Um, Learning, obviously, a lot of keystrokes, right, and navigation, just how to select text, how to do stuff with it, folder and file management. Uh, also, a lot of hotkeys for just launching, getting quickly to where you want to go, um, and just a lot of other tips. So check it out. Hope you enjoy the video. If you like the video, please like the video. It really helps us out. Check out the course if you're interested because, again, you probably use a computer a lot, and why not learn how to use it better? All right, cheers. We have talked about how we can select stuff using the mouse by double clicking and dragging or triple clicking and dragging or just dragging or like character by character. But what if you're typing and your hand is not on the mouse? It is actually on the keyboard because you're typing, right? So if you're typing and you want to select words, you don't need to move your, your hand to the mouse you can select using the keyboard by itself. And you have noticed that I've been using shift sometimes with the mouse to go ahead and select different parts of my document by moving my mouse to a specific location and selecting, but I have to have the shift key pressed to go ahead and do that. Well, you can perform the same with your keyboard. If you're here, you can press shift and move to the right to select character by character. So this is very interesting because you can select each character individually. And if you press down, it would select the next line. That's what is happening here. So yeah, that's cool. But how about if I don't want to do it character by character? At this point, what you want to do is use the control key and the right or left arrows to select to jump between words. But if you have the shift pressed also, the shift also pressed, then you can select on a per word basis. So I do control shift and then to the right, and that would select the whole word for me. So as you can see, this is really useful so that I do not have to um, take my hands off the keyboard. I can just do my selection with my hands on the keyboard itself. I don't have to use my mouse for that. So just keep in mind that there's many other ways that you can select stuff. And myself, I just usually do this very often. Uh, I do not use the mouse most of the time because I can do most of it with the keyboard. Um, the next selection that I wanted to talk about is, hey, how do I select the whole line? Well, I just showed you how you can do word by word, but depending on where your caret is, you can select the whole line by moving to the end of the line with the home key, but if you have the shift key pressed, then it would select up to that point. So if I have shift and then hit end, it would select the whole line like this. Um, the opposite is true. If I'm at the end of the line and I do shift and home, it would select to the beginning of the line. Interestingly enough, you can be in the middle of the line. So let's go to here. And if I'm here and I press shift end, it would select from the correct point until the end of the line, which means that you have to be careful where you are to do this. It's not just selecting the whole line by itself. It's just from the point where the caret is, and you can do the opposite as well from the correct point to the beginning, but you can very easily just hit home to be at the end of the, uh, at the beginning of the line and then doing shift and to select the, um, the appropriate, uh, the whole line. So at this point, I can go here if I'm in the middle, I just hit home, then shift end, and I can select the whole line or the opposite as well. I could just go ahead and hit end and then do shift home to get to the beginning of the line. And they both 
in the end perform the same task.